Last time when she rose the waves, I replaced one more broken stanchion. I got surprised by some April snow before I began the install of a new water tank sensor. And then I finally took the leap to fix my main boom myself. So now we're ready, but for what? Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, my name is Linus Jackson and I'm a sailor, musician and father of two. I bought my boat Sedna in Italy and have spent the last two seasons sailing her to her new home in the south of Sweden. It's been an incredible journey, but now it's time to roll up the sleeves and get her ready for the adventures to come. Good morning people, it is uh, chilly and a little windy today, uh, still April so you never know, but at least it's sunny. So today's plan is to get rid of this, not all of it, but the stands and everything, because now I have a boom, so my plan is to kind of mock up some kind of uh, cockpit enclosure uh, situation here, so you can get the some tarp still above us, above the cockpit, but not all over. All right, let's go. It, but there's like a all the pipes here I think it looks place the blues it's awesome Ooh, it's really raw outside today the wind is cold so uh I'm um, trying to decide what project I should start next. Let me think about that. I decided to make sure that everything is updated, because that means I can stay behind the heater and keep warm. And when you haven't done this in a while, there's always a lot of updating going on. All right, pretty much done for the day. Let's go home and relax. Bye, Sedna. Two days later, and I'm finally ready to start unpacking the sail. Mainsail, it's in place. I haven't hoisted it yet because, well, the wind is a little too much for me. And uh, I also need to uh, put in the battens. Same thing in the mizzen, actually. I forgot to do that last time. But to do that, I have to clean up the boat. All right, so I'm done with the mainsail, so I'll just uh, do a short, a quick side note here. On the servo, I managed to install the diesel tank. Uh, at least in my head, it is plausible that that is the correct amount of diesel. I will actually try to uh, fill it up uh, soon with HVO 100 and see if it goes up to 100. If it does, it should be good, but yeah, I'm not sure. But at least there's a little hint of how much diesel there is. Uh, the water tank is also here, and it is correct, it is 0% right now in that tank. But the thing is that uh, since that servo is also connected to the um, uh, NMEA and uh, MFD, the BNG Vulcan, I can actually see 
the tank levels on here too. Diesel and fresh water. Although while I am navigating, I won't be able to see that because I usually have the chart up and I need these for better things. But what I realized is I can use this one too. So now we have fuel, 77%, 292.6 liters remaining. So that means <laughs> that I don't necessarily have to fix the tank meter here anymore. Uh, which also means that I could probably remove a bunch of these stuff and maybe even put my shortcuts to the running lights and everything here that I really wanted to have. Uh, I have to figure out what this is uh, before I remove it. This one is for uh, the windlass. Moves the uh, anchor up and down. I still want to have that, but maybe I'll change the switch to something more rugged. But that's pretty cool. Well, as usual, I was way too optimistic about the tank sensor. Um, cause as soon as I started the engine, it just freaked out. So, uh, there is still some issues going on. So I guess I had just have to remove the, uh, tank and open it up. Uh, this, remove the black water tank to get to the, uh, hole into the diesel tank. That is. I do realize that sometimes you don't know exactly what's going on inside my head, so I actually have to use my words to explain what I mean. <laughs> sometimes I forget, but most of the times I know. I know words, I have the best words. So, um, just to get something done, I guess we should do a vanity project maybe, put up the Swedish flag. That could be nice. Well, it is a little smaller than the last one. But uh, well, I guess I don't have that much need to show that I'm Swedish while I'm in Sweden, so never mind. Well, that whole diesel tank gauge thing uh, did not work as well as I had hoped. Um, there doesn't seem to be any resistance at all in this uh, uh, in the sender here, so um, I think I have to get it out and see what happens. But here's one thing I forgot to do in the last episode. Well, I guess you can say that I fixed the solar. I mean, that's a never ending story. Uh, but for now, this is the system that I want. Done. Thank you all so much for still being here, even after I botched the release schedule there for a while. It's been a rough couple of weeks. But now I'm back and I'll try my best to give you at least a bi-weekly episode during the summer. But make sure you check out our social media or Patreon page for real-time updates. And of course to click the subscribe button and the bell. And until next time, take care.